What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, T-Man, coming back at you almost immediately with another video. This one is going to be my actual final review on the Walmart Fidget Cube. I've reviewed it once, but I just, it was basically an unboxing in the review. Here's the problem. It was awesome at first. I liked how the, um, what do you call it? the, uh, the locker combination three things i liked how they clicked where a lot of fidget cubes didn't but here's the problem i came up with the reason i have carried it in this or not carried it but kept it in this sandwich bag is because after three days of carrying around in my pocket this happened a lot of pieces came out there's the ball i could spin there's that toggle switch you could move around um here's some of the uh locker things you could have turned i could turn those and they clicked and everything but and these aren't even all the pieces there were a lot of pieces there's another piece I'm not quite sure what the heck that one did that was an inside piece there's a lot of pieces missing when I took all the pieces out of my pocket I put them here on my desk and I didn't think about the fact that my cat can jump higher than my shoulders in a single bound without running and yes, the cat can really jump that high. Well, she got up here apparently one day and got knocked all the pieces over. I was lucky to find the pieces I did. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to find the rest, but I'm pretty sure either she's got them hidden under some furniture or behind something. Or the puppy probably chewed it and ingested it by now because the puppy will eat anything that will fit down her throat, I guess. Literally. Doesn't matter if it's plastic, metal, pieces of carpet. She'll just eat it. But that, uh, my review of the Walmart Fidget Cube is negative four stars. Do not buy the Walmart Fidget Cube. I don't know. I forgot what box I showed you the company that made it. But uh, you, can, you can find that in my video. Go back and watch one of my old videos. I've got this in there showing the company and everything. Um, whatever it is. It came in a yellow and white box, but do not buy a fidget cube from Walmart. Unless you only want it for a couple of days. The only cool thing about it was that it the, 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 the locker combination things actually clicked. which And I could push them down and click them, and they clicked when I turned them. That's something you don't see on a lot of fidget cubes, but uh, yeah, I think I paid like 8 or $12 or whatever. It was on sale. I think I got it for eight or nine or something, but it's worth about one to two pennies. And that's because I could scrap the parts and get a nickel probably. So that's my review. Two thumbs down. Do not buy any Fidget Cube from Walmart or at least not from whatever company I got this from. Like I said, uh, you can watch. I did unboxing of this with some other video or some other spinners. I think I did the uh, Peacemaker spinners in that same video. I think I, got, I might have gotten these the same day, the ones that came in these big boxes. But um, if you can find that video, I'm going to see if I can go back and find it so I can come back and tell you guys what company to not buy it from. But don't buy it from Walmart. It's a piece of crap. Woo, that's cussing for me. Uh, sorry for the harsh language y'all but I'll tell you what it's not going to affect the fact that I'm gonna keep having fun y'all and I really hope you do the same